Hi, Ali from Alice Stitch Fingers here. This um, tutorial is basically just finishing off your bag. So you can see now I've done both sides and basically just want to make them concertina in so that that will give you your shape. I've marked the central position on the flap and the uh, piece here, the front, because that's where the clasp is going to go. So I've made a tube turned it to the right side and I'm just going to top stitch this is basically just for the, the strap if you're wanting to add it on it's not included in the thing in the um, tutorial but um, there is enough fabric to do it if you want to do it I have pieced it down the center but it's not really a problem at all so if you do want to have a handle on your bag this is what you would do I've made it one inch wide so I've cut one and a half inch and add a quarter inch seam allowance and now I'm just going to top stitch I haven't quite poked out that corner but you're not going to see it. it's going to be on the inside take your clips off when you get to them go across the bottom And then back up the long side. And back tack across the bottom and take it out. So it's not difficult to do your strap. So here I've got my clasp and this is the sort of thing you need. Um, we do have them in stock. I will try and get Mark to put them on the website. Basically, it's just like a swivel clasp. I'm going to put that through. Actually, I want the nice side to the uh, the both nice sides really. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them right sides together, and I'm going to stitch across the ends to hold them in place. Gone over it a couple of times. Now I'm going to open it up and press those down and just top stitch to keep the pieces neat. That's one side. By the way, uh, I am using an industrial machine, but I have made these at home on my normal machine, so you shouldn't have a problem stitching them, but I would use a walking foot um, to do it with if you've got one. But most of mine have been made, apart from this one, on a normal domestic machine. So I'm gonna put the clasp down to the bottom over the seam and then just put those back together now I have just got a rivet machine but I haven't worked out all the little bits yet so I'm going to do this with sewing machine but I would do it with a rivet machine if it wasn't running so there is my strap ready Oh. Right, so the only other thing we need to do now is the turn clasp, which actually comprises of four pieces, but one of them is not here, it must have fell out. So I've got a spare one here. Turn up. So you have the turn part there, two pieces for the top part, and then one back for the turn part. What you need to do is mark the halfway point. I'm just going to use a pen. Just seeing another little thread there. And I'm going to go onto the inside so I can see where I want it. Just there. And I'm going to put the turn clasp. I want it about that far down actually. I'm just going to take that out and you're not going to see this on here because it's um, black 
so I'm going to mark it but I might have to do it from the inside because you can't see what I'll do is I'll put the unpicker in now it wants to be about an inch and a half down from the top I will put the exact measurements on the pattern but I'm just going to put my unpicker in there so I can see where I've gone and you basically need just a tiny tiny slit now this is all already interfaced because we did all that before we started the bag so you haven't got a problem with that put the parts through and for added strength I'm going to use a textile glue I'm just going to drop squeeze a little bit out there it'll stop it fraying as well I actually use the collar one on my other bags because I haven't got any here at work so the collar glue works fine push that to the inside it will dry clear on the inside of your bag I'm just going to put a little bit more of the glue over the top of the prongs and they won't actually uh, fold in the too long the prongs so you need to fold them out it doesn't really matter which way you do it but fold them out and then that glue will dry so that is the front part done leave that to dry now on here what you're going to do is bring the clasp over now bear in mind that if you've got a lot of stuff in your bag you want enough space for it to open up so don't put it too far up here don't bring it all the way down and do it there leave it so you've got enough space to put in items in so I'll do it about half an inch up you've got your mark for the halfway point you need to put the piece over the top there and this needs to go all the way through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the inside because I can actually draw on this and be able to see it. Take the pin out and draw all the way around that there. And now you need to cut out on the outside of that box. So a nice sharp pair of scissors. Just fold it in half to get it going in and carefully stitch uh, stitch cut all the way around the outside don't worry if you don't get it all the first time better to not cut enough than too much now to check get your piece put it on and if you can still see some like we can there cut a tiny bit more off and keep doing that until you've got it as you want it a tiny bit off at a time I'm trying to keep it still so you can see you'll be able to move yours about more keep testing just a little bit more I'm gonna have to move it a bit Also go from the outside and make sure you've got all that nice and neat because it sometimes tapers. And again, just check, pull the legs down on that one and put that in. And when you can see that it's going to be nice and neat, get your textile glue. I'm not sure if I like this one yet, but the collar one was perfect so. bit of textile glue all the way around the edge apparently it is a really good one so maybe I should just trust it on the inside as well being careful not to put too much there we go get the part with the legs 
and that goes through from the front lay that down on your bench and put the other half over the top and just bend those legs down make sure they're nice and firm and I'm just going to wipe off the excess from there let that dry make sure that it's straight at this point because if you put it on wonky and the glue dries you'll never get it straight so that's that done now all we need to do is just top stitch along that top edge and if you want to actually you can stitch inside here to hold it all down so what you would do is just put that inside your machine making sure it's all nice and flat it just stops all the things from rolling from one side of your pockets to the other just stitch back tack keep it nice and straight probably better off to draw a line actually as far as you can go back tack and then take it out Right, now we're just going to top stitch along there and that is your purse finished. So I'll just quickly do that. I'm going to just top stitch right on the edge. So maybe a two or three mil. All the way across, catching in the opening as you go. Make sure you don't catch the underneath. Take that out, snip your threads. Put your clasp on if you're wanting a clasp on yours. As I say, it is a clutch purse. So there we go, and then test the front. And then we're ready for a, a night out. There's our 